to uh, Mr. Ehige Moses, an uh, entrepreneur. We will discuss uh, business in the diaspora as it may in no day Nigeria as at now. But uh, we will get this conversation. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How yes. are you doing? I am doing great. I am doing great. It seems uh, t today it's a vehicle affair. Our second guest is also in the car. You are also in the car. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's good. It's good. So uh, we do this on the show every, uh, if we're talking to any of our guests, honestly, we like to ask you, how are you doing? Because we know that there's a pandemic in town. So we ask these questions honestly. How are you, honestly? Let's know. Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, you know, the, the pandemic has really affected everything. But at um, the same time, as an entrepreneur, you find, you know, different ways to get back up and stay positive. But mm -hmm. um, it, has been, it has been good so far. You know, we're safe and um, family members are all good. Friends are good. So that's the main important thing right now. So, but I'm pretty much okay. Okay. And I, I gather that you're in far away Russia as of now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, l how is it uh, in Russia regarding the pandemic uh, situation and uh, business? How did it affect uh, the economy so far in Russia? Um, so far, uh, you know, the, the cases here um, went up at some point, but um, you know, the the Russian government was able to control it. You know, and um, they did a very good work, basically. So, but um, things started moving. Businesses. You know, even schools, though schools have been, um, studies have been taken online, online. lectures, and stuff like that. But um, so far, so good. The um, businesses, offices started running. So things are moving normally here. Hmm. So as it may now, I, I believe things have gotten to a point where you can say probably 60% um, back into active uh, processes, 60%? Yes, yes, yes. 60%. I would say 70%. 70%. Because most of the things, most of the things are working. Most of the things, hmm. most of the, the businesses, the companies, so everything is working right now. So like it's do, pretty they have, do they have like laws and protocols on how these businesses should run there, like face masks, social distance, and all these things? Are they put in place? Also? Yes, yes, yes. Got, like going to a shopping mall or a complex or banks, offices, you have to go with your um, facial mask and you wear your gloves. Hmm. So with that, you're you're 100 um, protected. So. There you can get access to any office as long as you have your face mask and your, your gloves. Interesting. So, um, to tell us about uh, your uh, what you do over the you're an entrepreneur in Russia, and uh, we know that business in the diaspora is a lot. You know, so let's start from what you do in Russia. Let's let's start from there. Okay. Yes. Um, here in Russia, um, um, Russia is a very big market, and um, it's a it's a virgin land as well, just like um, and there are so many opportunities. So um, setting up um, a restaurant, which is Caroline's Kitchen, so um, for an international kitchen that has um, African African um, meals, you know. Okay. So at the same time, um, we're actually working on the, um, some um, like a studio here for animation as well, because. Um, the same time, the African stories, we can do it anywhere. The good thing about animation, we can do it anywhere. We have it in Lagos. We also have it in, here in Russia setting up. So though we're affected by the pandemic, so yes. a lot of things were kind of slow, but um, our main focus right now is the restaurant hmm. and the real estate here in Russia. Yeah, I was going to talk about that because uh, from uh, the information I have, you are into media and entertainment, real estate, food and beverage, technology, fashion industry, in all these, uh, how, how do you handle all these arms and be successful at the same time? Seeing the fact that, given the fact that you're in a foreign land, how do you put all these together? Yeah, um, the thing is, we've, over the years, we've built um, a, very, a very strong team that um, is not all about business right now. So it's more like family, you know. So things have been moving very well in terms of, um, over the years, we've built a very strong team. and. Um, create a good connection that everything has to go in order. Though it's not easy, but every day we're still keeping, up, keeping it going. Yes, you know? So um, the, the, the businesses have been going, running really well, even in Nigeria as well. And here in Russia has been, has been good. So it's just, um, just the plan and uh, also the teamwork that um, the vision at the point. But the, we, stay, we stay connected and we stay up to our goals. We're born winners, so we're born to win. 
So running, running a business in, uh, in a diaspora as to running a business in Nigeria, uh, because you have businesses in Nigeria also and you're running in Russia, how, which would you say is, uh, is more, um, which would you say is, is lucrative in both? And the one in Russia or the one in Nigeria? And which would you say is tasking to, you know, more, more t tasking to run? Um, I would say here in Russia, why, why I would say here in Russia is um, the language barrier. You know, language. Um, yes, yes, you know, but um, the good thing about here is um, the, the citizens, especially the, the younger uh, citizens, the, the new generation right now, so they are more of um, exploring in terms of learning English, knowing how to understand English, and um, so it has been really good. But uh, Nigeria, you know, we've already gotten the whole idea of the market in Nigeria. You know, we have... Um, Nigeria, we have the numbers, you know. But here in Russia, we also have the numbers, but the the laws the, the, the laws are kind of different. Okay. You know. So, but um, as long as you abide to the law, you do the necessary things to you know setting up the, the company. Because here, the company that we set up here is international um, international company that we can run anywhere in Europe, not just in Russia. We can do it in Spain. We can do it in, in Italy. We can do it in Poland. So um, the, the thing here is things are moving really fast because the, um, they, need, they need something different. Okay. They need something different from what they've been doing. Yeah. And um, having, having Africans doing good stuff here in terms of you know, um, hospitalities, um, food and beverages has been going really well. And the government tried to encourage every foreigner that tried to set up um, international business here because at the end of the day, you still bring back to economy. You know, yes. as, a, as a government, that they know okay, for sure that you know, having relationship with um, foreigners and um, uh, foreign businesses, it brings, it brings back to the economy. Hmm. That was back, actually, that was actually going to lead me to my second, my other question uh, regarding okay. that. You were speaking about other African con or other foreigners setting up business there and uh, since uh, you've been there doing uh, business as a Nigerian, how would you say it, the acceptability of uh, other uh, countries setting up business there also, as as, as at foreigners also setting up business there? Has it been generally and widely accepted by the citizens? Yeah, um, yeah. The, the 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 good thing about it here in Russia is um, uh, with the media. You know, when you hear Russia, you feel it's a racial um, place. You know, the people are not friendly. But trust me, here everything works smoothly, and um, the government, even the people here, have been being really supportive in terms of you know businesses, you know meeting foreigners. They're quite excited. You know, 2018, I was I was in Russia 2018 for the the FIFA World Cup. You know, so and that brought a lot of things to Russia in terms of. Um, being being exposed to yeah. to other um, cultures, nationalities, yeah. cultures, you know, and um, they they get to understand that you know this is an advantage, you know, and um, it it went really well peacefully, and um, so that actually exposed them to dealing with other nationality foreigners and all that. So the government saw the advantage and saw how the economy um, went up, mm -hmm. you know, so. They try as much as they can to keep it up like that. So it has been so it has been good so far. They've been placing some some uh, some new laws on how to make things work very easy and um, comfortable in I mean um, um, dealing with foreigners, in terms mm. of foreign companies and stuff. Yeah, you, so you spoke about some certain barriers that were, you know, could, could be an issue when setting up shop in a foreign land, as it may. And uh, you spoke about languages. So which other uh, barriers would you say was uh, an, an issue for you setting up your business there in Russia? What are the barriers, aside language? Is it yeah, there? first of all, as long as, as, long as you're 100% you're um, 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 legitimate in the time, terms, in, the, in the country, in terms of your papers, your, you're dealing with the right um, um, people, in terms of the lawyers, because you have a lot of international lawyers here that okay. can set up anything for you. But you know, at the end of the day, if you don't have the information, definitely you won't be informed, you know. So it, the, the thing is dealing with the right people that will make things easier for you. So mm -hmm. when we started, we, we, we first of all um, got a very good lawyer here in Russia. 
that international lawyer that um, knows the way in and way out. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're able to set up the 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 business, the the company, the international company, and um, it was it was kind of hard. But um, our time goes as we get into the system, things get easier and better. You know, because the lang the only problem here in Russia is the language barrier. The language. And once you know the, the basic of this language, the Russian language, definitely you're good. Hmm. So, you're good. Uh, yeah, because uh, in Nigeria, we also have uh, uh, barriers when you have to set up businesses regarding, and Nigerians are usually mostly concerned about funding, capital, money. How can you set up when uh, there are no funds? Uh, that has been one of the major reasons why a lot of companies crumble because of funding, yes. uh, you know, capital being a, staying afloat. So in, in Russia, is it uh, the same thing or is it easier to access loans? Is it easier to it's, access fundings for, 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 for your company or businesses? Yes, there? yes. It's easier to, um, to access uh, loans and uh, we've been working with quite very good um, partners and investors, you know, that has been a very good support, you know, in terms of... Um, you know the funding and um, yeah. So, boy, in Russia, if you have the um, you have person, you have the residential permit, you can assess loans. You can. It's way easier. It's way easier. I must I must confess. It's way easier. So you can get mortgages. You can get loans. So you have a lot of benefits. You know, you have a lot of benefits financially. You know, with the government and um, with the banks and with the corporate companies. You know. So here is like like I said, it's a virgin land. It's, it's it's like they're still they're, they're trying to as much as they can to you know emerge to the new to the new generation yeah you know so when they see something really new and they see prospect in that they they grab it they grab the, every opportunity the investors you know they grab every opportunity so i have we have um brands like a black star burger um black star so it, this this is run um 70 percent of 60 percent by an african man okay you know, and he has, it has been very, it has been a huge success here in Russia. Hmm. They have every, yeah, their shop, their, the, um, the, the company is everywhere in Russia, in Moscow, in St. Petersburg, and some other places in Russia. Okay. And they've been, they've been a very good inspiration so far. Okay. Seeing the fact that uh, they, it's, uh, it's as, from what you're saying, you, it's easily acceptable by the citizens. Now, speaking about manpower, do people actually uh, um, work, come for labor, as per se? I'm trying to talk on that level. Seeing the fact that in Nigeria here, you can easily get people to work for you because of the amount of people who are unemployed and uh, in, in the country. But in Russia, is, it, uh, is that the case? Can you easily get people to work for you? Yes. Yes, sure, sure. Because here... Uh... The thing is, as long as you start, you, when you're starting up a business, you know, you have your, you have everything to put together. Not necessarily have to be 50, 50 um, people working for you or 100 people working for you. So if you know your, what you do, you know the, the, the you know everything it takes. Okay, you need a manager, you need a business manager, you need um, a cleaner, you need uh, a receptionist. Yeah, so definitely things that don't even, look at oh is the, the boss is a foreigner or this is a foreign company mm -hmm. so here every the manpower has been good and um, they're, they're easily motivated they're oh. easily motivated because they get every basic um things that they need as as, as a citizens to stay up you know okay. so um the people are not uh, mentally drained okay. or physically drained so they are ready to work they're ready to push the business as if it's theirs and that is the good thing. Or that's the that's the good part here in Russia. You know, they have this co commitment of okay, let's make this thing work. We're mm. part of this. We're like partners. So let's make this thing work. They don't see. They don't they don't have the whole idea of okay, I'm just a staff. So to them, they are partners. So if the thing works, definitely it works for them as well. So that's that's the part of their um, the part of their record of okay, I was part of this. You no know, success. The success, yeah. You know, so the devotion, the, the, the commitment is there. Hmm, interesting. And, and let, yeah. yeah, so speaking about the working hours, how is it? Is it do they work per hour? Do they work per day? How how is it over there? The working hours for people? Is yeah, it, the, depending on the set depending on the setup. Um here, just like a restaurant, you work um per hour. You know, okay. you have um, 
you have your shift, probably like six, six hours shift and um, there are another six hours. So depending on who you, actually the setup, the, the top management setup, you know, you can, you can do it in a way that, okay, you do like a nine to nine to five, or you could do a nine to nine to three, and then you change the shift. Yeah. So it just depending on the, um, the, the business per the se, business you know, and... like um, the supermarket is quite different from, you know, like the, the real estate business or the, the restaurant business. Mm. You know, so it's just a setup and you know, okay, this is what I'm doing mm. and this is the pay and we're working nine to five or you're working from these hours to these hours or midnight yeah. or because they are, um, we're setting up a, rest, a, a supermarket that is 24 hours um, um, work time. So yeah. we can do 12 hour shifts, you know, in both, in both ways. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's good that we were able to establish the basis of this whole conversation because uh, we needed to know exactly how it is, you know, as an entrepreneur in a foreign land, how it's easy for you to set up shop and keep the business running. So uh, we wanted to, let's talk about uh, the, 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 the reputation now, because this is a major concern uh, of uh, Nigerians or Africans or Nigerians in the diaspora, seeing the fact that there is a narrative that uh, out there that, you know, you can't, Nigerians can't be trusted, you know, Nigerians can't be credible, Nigerians can't be diligent because of some certain kinds of people who have uh, made this a, a, a thing abroad, uh, speak, you know, so I, I believe you understand that. So breaking into that, um, that industry or that country and coming out as an entrepreneur, you understand, wanting to start up. How you know easy was that for you? What were what were, what were your difficulties? You know, in order to trying to change that narrative of Nigerians being fraudulent. Yes. Okay. Um, the, the first of all, it's you as a person. You know, um, I I'm I don't really believe in stereotypes. You know, um, and that has really that has really helped in every because I used to stay in the U.S. I schooled there and. Um, I've never had, you know, though it, it's normal, you know, when you see a Nigerian, first of all, but not everyone. But I'm this kind of person that I stay positive. I know, I know um, 100% le legitimate. So I have nothing to worry about in terms of, you know, how people look at me. What I, what I, look, what I look out most is um, what I'm bringing to the table, you mm -hmm. know, and um, who am I dealing with, say. Because at the same time, it, it, it's a stereotype thing that um, it affected most things that, you know, most Nigerians here, you know. But the, the thing is, most of the people here, they really don't settle for that. I mean, the Russians, some yeah. of these foreigners. What they deal with you personally, the relationship they have with you. And that is why branding is always good. That is why it's good to, you know, whatever you're doing, you go, you go straight forward, you know. And you always showcase, okay, this is what I do. And this is what I what I do for a living. And at the end of the day, when you deal with with someone, you have to be very straight. Because if you're not straight, it gives them that whole idea of okay, oh, um, I gave you a benefit of a doubt. You just proved me wrong, you know. So mm -hmm. so far, my partners that I've been dealing with here have been 100%, you know, accurate and um, honest with each other. You know, in terms of because uh, now you're not dealing with me. Now you're dealing with a company. You understand, and at the same time, it it affected at some point. But I feel it's just you as a person. It's just you as a person. Though with the whole things we're here, you know, with the fraudulent activities, I know that it affect it affect businesses, it affect even students here in in in, in the foreign in the foreign land. Yeah. You know, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But um, I feel you as a person or as an entrepreneur, it's good you stay honest because you have every chances to make it right personally you know the opportunity you have try as much as you can to stay honest and you know open hmm. definitely so there's always the benefit of a doubt Interesting. You understand? so take advantage of that but when you don't take advantage of that when you when when there's when there's um there's um when there's things pretty much that makes things harder or make these guys remember okay i thought you're good i thought you would do better but you're still the same thing I thought you were, you know? So by the end of the day, it's just you being accurate. It's just you being open and at the end of the day, being honest. Hmm, interesting. But honesty is the, best, is the best thing so far in terms you know, of dealing with people, businesses, and yeah. uh, you know, 
I, having this conversation has been very enlightening. And to come to think of it that uh, you, are, you are still, uh, you, you, you're quite young, you're quite young, and uh, you've, ex you've, you've achieved so much in quite a short time. How, how did you manage to do this? And for young entrepreneurs who want to, you know, embark on the journey that you are in right now, or you've started, what are those words or those things that you can tell them to say to make them, you know, uh, move on and carry on with these ideas of, of theirs? Yes. Um, the, the good thing about when, when we started, because uh, it, this, is more, this is more family business, okay. you know, so when we started, we started uh, pretty much, let's do this, you know, and the motivation from, um, from our background, the family, because I'm from a very business-minded home, you know. My mom started working at the age of um, six, seven years, you know. She started, you know, trying to, as much as she can to bake, to fry um, donuts, what we call buns, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, take it to our school and sell, you know, the whole trading and all mm -hmm. that. So, and that really motivates that age is just a number. Sorry to say this, I really don't believe in age. I okay. believe in experience and maturity, you know. So, and that has helped me in the long run, you know. I try as much as I can to, you know, just start this, start it, you know. It's better to start early and it's good you fail. So you have experience of being a failure so you can win. That's the reason we're called born winner. So we, we, we fail to win. You know, so the, the whole idea is starting. You know, if you have a passion, if you have an idea for this, don't just keep it in the pub, you know. Just give it a try. You know, don't start big, start pretty small. You know, all this business started from somewhere, you know. Started from the entertainment, started from the bottling water, you know. You know, like I literally were one of the, the first um, um, entertainment company that started showcasing our product through our content. We did music and in our music video, we were selling, we're using to sell our, our product, Frost Water, you know, mm -hmm. and some other um, business, hmm. you understand? Because I, 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 I lived in the U.S. and I've lived in the Western world for a long time. And I have brothers and sisters that are very, very motivated, you know? So I've always had that idea of, you know, selling brands, showcasing brand for Christmas, you know? So that's even the current movie, the animation movie I'm working on, we're working on right now. Yeah. We're already selling brands. We're already selling, giving proposals to companies, brand pl placement. You understand? Mm. And at the end of the day, this gives the whole idea of, okay, you know what you're doing. Yes. Even if you fail, at least you try. Yes. You know, the whole idea is to try, you know. If you don't try, definitely you will never have that experience. You will never have that idea of, okay, I, I was once a trier, so I failed. You know, hmm. And the next time when you do it, there's possibilities, there's chances of you winning. Hmm. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Moses Ehige, for this conversation. It's been very, very insightful. And uh, I believe that the take home uh, from this conversation is you better try. No matter how you think it is, just try. And uh, you would definitely, even, even if you fail, you would know that you tried. And the next time yeah. you're going to uh, try again, you probably get it better. Thank you very no much problem. for this conversation. And I believe that no uh, young entrepreneurs out there must have taken one or two notes down from this. All right. Yes, and a quick one. The, the yes. thing is, you know, it's about, it, it's a process, you know, mm. and uh, as long as you enjoy the process in what you're doing, it keeps you going, you know, mm. regardless of, you know, there is always problem. There's always, you know, um, the, the bad days. There's always um, the bad customers. There's always bad clients. There's always bad partners, <laughs> you know. But at yeah. the same time, there's still always good customers, good days, and positive days. So as long as you you're able to balance this whole thing together and take advantage of every situation. Even the bad times, you know, you convert it to, to positive energy. Yeah. Definitely, you will, you will definitely come out with a good result. Thank you very much for these words of advice. And we're hoping that uh, the business over there would continue to thrive. Have yes. a lovely day, sir. <laughs> to enjoy more of these our Ogunga videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.